the Trump administration, the NIH is pulling funding for what they call unscientific, unreality-based studies. Most of these LGBTQ2 alphabet letters of all sorts, specifically targeting for changing genders in adolescence. Everybody thinks that this is probably reasonable, but libs are freaking out. The New York Times had a big, long piece basically telling everyone to panic. Andrew, is the panic justified in this? It feels like, hey, there's a bunch of studies operating on premises that aren't even based in reality, and Trump's like, no, we shouldn't do that. Is this a justifiable position to take it politically, you think? Well, let's call this what this is, whether it's a study that leads to that. But I look at all of this within the construct of this is just studies related to mental illness. So if we take the 800 million or the amount of money that he's removing, and we actually just apply it to studying mental illness, we can still say that it falls under the umbrella of LGBTQ plus nine. Look, it's a win-win for everybody. We just got to put the money in a category in which we understand. Or with all of the issues that they're having, we can combine two problems into one. We can take the people that are freaking out about this and we can place two or three of them because there's probably only like 600 people anyways across each 300 of these bodegas. And just by virtue of their presence, crime will go down in those stores. The idea that I could be anti-LGBTQ is impossible considering I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I've been a Dallas Cowboys fan my whole life. And so <laughs> there's no, no bigger amount of gay pride that I could have, you know, than that. So for the LGBTQ mafia to come after me, it just shows you that they don't really know the real Alex. So if you really ask me when it comes to all this trans stuff, there was a medical application a long time ago. And I do a lot of these debates. There are very few amount of people that are born intersex. And when that is the case, you do want to affirm their gender at a young age. We don't really need many studies unless that's the case. If you're under 18 and you're not born intersex, it should be a Legal. Like they don't even need to do studies. You know, they should be like studying cocaine or studying murder. I mean, it's just saying we should, we don't need to do a study. We already know that if you're under 18 and you're cutting off your genitals, you're making a lifelong decision that you're going to regret.